Guys, welcome to the Deathbringer Sarfang in encounter. First of all, all the range need to be spread in a semicircle like this, like you see what we're doing. Ma uh, Warlocks should actually be close to the center maybe because they have the lowest range and they can dot all, all the ads. So I try to be around here maximum. And if I'm here and I get aggro on an ad and if it uh, kills me, we wipe. I'm going to put my portal somewhere around here and I'm going to move back manually. This is one of the most important fights where you want to focus the boss. We will not be getting uh, PI and nothing like that. We're just going to pre-pot and it's going to be fine. Where what we're going trying to do is put UA, which is unstable affliction and corruption, on all the ads. If we can. So you stay here. Or wherever you you are, you try to put your port far away. So if you get aggro and you're slowed, you can port away. It's really important not to die from melee to yeah, it's, it's good every time you get hit, it's going to give him a lot of energy. More energy means more marks. They're currently changing the marks. They used to almost two shot healers. Unless it's on a warlock. If it's on a warlock and it's hitting you really really bad, you need to use this demon armor. And you need to basically drain life mode. Doesn't matter about DPS, you need to kill the bosses. Remember guys, DPS is less important than killing bosses. So right now we have a health stone. And if we get the mark, we're going to use it. And then if it's really, really bad, we're going to use drain life instead of drain soul. Let's just hope we don't get the mark so we can showcase a bit of Warlock DPS. Even with all the mistakes I'm doing... I'm confident the tips I'm telling you are going to help you. So you need to be spread because in 12 range yard Blood Boys will hit, will hit more people and if Blood Boy hits more people he's going to get more energy. And like I said, more energy means more damage on the tanks and more energy means more marks. And we don't want more marks because people might die by the end. So when he comes, select him, instant uh, use uh, focus, we pre it in time, busting everything we have on him trying to get that devious mind proc we will not blood us now all the, all the trinkets are up we got eradication that's good we won't get the devious mind proc it happens guys it's fine I'm going to move a bit back because the shaman is in front of us and we really 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 do not want to be there and another thing I this fight is really great for is if you're stationary like this I can calculate how much my haunt is so when haunt gets here I need to reapply it and that's the travel time. So I can probably do another uh, Shadow Bolt. Now we reapplied the corruption because we have the Devious Mind. And I'm just applying everything on all the Blood Beast. I have to go a bit close. Focus Haunt so we don't lose that corruption. Focus everything on him. And now we go hard on the boss again. You just need to unstable affliction everything. Uh, stable affliction, corruption, all the has to have decent damage. Of course, mages are going to do more than you. I'm going to mini burst again. I should use it on CD. And now the blood beasts are coming. Shadow Ball to keep up. And I'll use a haunt, so I'm pretty sure nothing will fall off the boss while I do this. I we can select the boss, use this, use this. This blood beast. See, I couldn't even corruption it. It depends heavily on the DPS that you have and how good your people are. If your people are really good, the ads are going to drop like flies. So you're not your dots will not actually really really proc. I wish I've gotten these devious minds when he was under 35%, honestly, because that's when corruption does 12% more damage, like we said, all your dots do more. I think our mana is fine, I'm not gonna waste time life tapping and adds time again. Haunt is falling off. Focus on, focus on stable affliction. That ad had no um, no dot on him. It's fine. Thirty percent. I got to reapply sh uh, corruption. Life tap. Twenty six percent and drain life mode. One tick. Haunt will fall off. We don't want haunt to fall off. Haunt empowers every damage that we do. This is great. I have a I have a macro that doesn't let me 
um, spam drain salt you have to get used to moving a bit and uh, it's going to be good blood beasts are super dead almost except this one going to dot it no way we're getting aggro over that haunt will fall off reapply everything you need this shadow embrace is really 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 important when you're uh, at the end we got an eradication prod so we reapplied everything and I think he's dead do not apply any dots drain soul was there when we had all the dots up and drain soul snapshots the state so if you have three dots and you drain soul even if the dots fall off drain soul will do max damage and it wasn't like it was going to do uh, more damage if we had uh, unstable affliction and uh, curse of agony up for five seconds or three seconds so it's good is decent. Also, I uh, I'm sorry this is not the best DPS I've I've done, but like I said, it's a bit heavy while talking and uh, trying to explain everything I've done. We'll see what boss is next. I hope uh, you learned a bit. If I had aggro, or I wish almost wish I had aggro on a beast to show you how to, you basically run away with your portal. I usually use boots here because if I stay in this it's going to damage me a lot like you can see and by the time I got here I usually get food or healed. Thanks a lot and uh, we'll see you at the next boss.